hi guys welcome back to my channel so happy to have you here today we are doing something so exciting can you guess can you guess what it is we're gonna go shopping for broncos i'm gonna go test drive some because in my head i've made up that i've i've decided that i want a bronco but i've never driven one before it's time that i go drive some see if i really want it and then get a car because honestly i feel like i am just locked up in brickle without my car i feel really claustrophobic i miss driving i miss having a car i miss exploring it's just gonna make the quality of my life so much better and i'm so excited to take you guys with me i've never like gone car shopping before my like my dad gifted me both of my cars I've ever had in my life. When I moved to LA, I sold my car because I thought I was gonna stay and I didn't. But it's fine, I needed a new one anyways. My car was starting to have some issues and I want like a big SUV. I've always loved driving a bigger car. So I'm just really excited to go check out some cars at Ford. So we're gonna head there now. I was gonna bring Brandon or Joey with me, but I've never done this before, so I didn't know like what the protocol was. So I called them this morning and I was like, hey, like I want to come and test drive some cars. Do I need to make an appointment? They're like, no, you can just come in. So they're already probably like, oh, we're gonna get this girl, you know? I also haven't driven a car in so long. Like think like bef like I guess it's been since I moved, pretty much. I haven't really driven any cars since then. So it's been months, so we'll see if I remember how to do it. Okay, so we're here at Ford, at Metro Ford in Miami. So I originally wanted this one or like the heritage in the baby blue that's that's like my ultimate goal my dream these ones are like 80 70 80k and the heritage are like 90 to 100k so that's a little bit out of the budget but i didn't realize also like how big they are like this is a big car <laughs> i don't need something that big especially in miami this one's sold so these ones are kind of the same but they're like a little bit smaller you can tell just like height wise they're a little bit different and they have this one in this like gray or the black so he's gonna grab the keys for this one from or this one for me to drive but the inside is so nice like <gasps> well, I'll take you guys inside but I like love it already like I'm already picturing my life in this car oh my god okay this is the inside Okay, guys, I absolutely fucking love this car. We took the top off. Oh, I'm upset. Look how sexy she is. Like, look at it. Also, you have a camera in the front. Okay. Ooh, okay. Big truck. Also, yeah, you have big truck. And also the seats. And let's see that you go to the mud. Uh-huh. Overall, you can clean it, you know. Is it whole and then... Oh my gosh, I love this car. And they have this one in the blue. And it's almost the same price. Okay. This doesn't have the set. My brother-in-law just called me. He told me exactly what to say. So I'm gonna get the best. We're gonna get the best price for this fucking vehicle. We're back from the dealership. I need that car. It paid me to walk off the lot without it, but I, I obviously had to. Like, I need the best offer, and the man had a, a daughter, and I was just kind of like trying to tug at his heartstrings a little bit, you know? Like, he was a father. I'm like, is this the rate that you would want your daughter to take, you know? We're gonna get a good deal, though. I'm gonna do some research on insurance. I don't know how to do any of this shit, but we're gonna figure it out. We're independent women. Independent woman eating the weirdest little lunch right now. I'm literally just gonna put some guys. I'm like full of bone eating chicken again. Not like I wouldn't cook it, but like chicken breast, like deli meat is good with me. It's like easy. It's already like almost 4 p.m. So I'm just gonna get some protein in, hit the gym. The way I'm just about to like roll up, roll a pickle in this meat is so weird. Put a grillo pickle in here. I mean, it's really good. Should I put some hot sauce on it? Probably. I'll see you guys later. Car negotiations are still happening. I'm getting, I'm getting the feel for this. Um, I legitimately almost filled out like all the application stuff yesterday, but then I was like, 
let me just triple triple check with other dealerships i start calling around getting other quotes all of them are a lot higher than what i was quoted so i was like okay this guy really did give me like a great deal like i really like him like whatever he's been really helpful i call one last place and then i i start to be like well what do i have to lose and i lie to them and i'm just like well this place is offering me this amount of money for this car do you if you have the same vehicle like what can you do and they send me back a thing and i'm just like okay like you know they're offering me like a lower one like bye thank you and they're like send me the vin and we will we will give you a lower offer guaranteed and i'm like okay no now we're out to play now the blood's out so then i sent them the info and they came back with a lower offer <laughs> so now i'm torn because i do like the first guy i went with but i texted the first guy he's been calling me he sent me the credit application and he's like did you fill that out and i was like no because honestly i am talking to another dealership and they're offering me this price i mean what would you do you would obviously take the lower offer so this other guy the first guy who i ever spoke with is gonna give me a call in a little bit and car insurance just texted me i'm like my phone's just been blowing up with car insurance and salespeople. but yeah he's gonna call me back and hopefully he gives me an even lower price this is a big commitment this is like a big purchase for me i'm such like a instant gratification person and i'm pretty smart with my money but when it comes to like things that like my apartment my car like i'm gonna splurge i'm gonna spend a little bit more money could i not do that and like be more within reason absolutely but then what's the fun in that <laughs> you know i don't shop that much i'm not like too crazy about you know material items i just want a nice place to live and a nice car and it'll also make me work harder that's how i always think of money too since graduated college i was always kind of putting myself not in like really uncomfortable positions like it wasn't stupid but i was spending a little bit more money on apartments than i should and i was like just a little slightly out of budget not completely but just like slightly and it's either cut back in other areas or make more money and i don't like cutting back in areas because i've set a standard of the life that i live so i just make more money and i talked to my brother-in-law and he's like listen you don't have to convince me with like cars and emotions and you know he's like i have four of the same car in my garage and i'm gonna keep buying them because they make me happy and i just make more money and i'm like period so that's kind of where i'm at with it <laughs> also like i've been negotiating so much and like talking about prices of these cars so much that it doesn't even sound expensive anymore like at first it's a kind of a shock but now it's like i've what's it called when you like get traumatized and then you just get used to the trauma and it becomes normal it i've just like be i've been desensitized so i'm negotiating for like still really high prices but like they sound low at this point i'm like that's a good deal like a normal person would be like that's not a good deal but i think it's a good deal anyways so excited when he called so he got me a good price we got down to something that i think is extremely fair even when i told the other dealership he was like oh okay i just love jose shout out to jose at ford metro ford in miami it was so funny because he actually saw my tiktok video because i think like his he said his daughter his daughter's friend sent it to him and she follows me and i was like oh i love it small world so i think because of that he was like all right, let me see what I can do. If you see me popping out with a Ford campaign, mind your business. Outfit for the gym though. Navigation shorts. I got this from, of course I got my lip gloss on it. Motherfucker. This is from Pretty Little Thing and I'm like, okay, slay Pretty Little Thing. I'm gonna go fill out the application and then next time you see me, I might be driving my baby home and we have to name it uh a tiktok uh, oh yeah so i had tiktok oh no. <laughs> yes guys we're here we brandon's gonna have to film me home. thank you oh the white claw i don't know that's There's that's not a good look brandon ha having a white claw with him hi how are you film she says i need to film No, don't be nervous. Does it look all clean? Does it look all clean? Nicole? Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 H
I don't know, are we allowed to film but in here? Maybe we'll just, we'll just, I'll just step out, I'll just go look on the lot. Okay. Maybe I want a Bronco now. Oh, you want to see? Does he want to see the car? Oh, we can go see the car. I'm gonna go preview the car. I see it before her, she'd be so mad. Were you the one that helped her the other day? Sorry? Were you the one that helped her the other day? Yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing with this thing. She just has me film everything that we do. And I don't know. Are those the electric ones? The Mustang Mach-E? Yeah, they're, they're fully electric? Yeah, yeah, we have some electric. That's cool. All right, guys, we out here. I think I was supposed to say something like that. Like, boop, but do I don't know how to stop this. I'm getting the preview of her car. Oh my God! Look at the way the sun hits it. Wow, this thing is sick. Oh, she got the Badlands one. <laughs> Damn, she a baddie in a Badlands. Wow. Wow, I'm jealous. You gotta get me in one of these next, I think. Yeah, I have some. A different car. Wait, this is sick. What was the best car? <laughs> Alright, hold on, don't come out yet. Okay, so I get to see Nicole's car first. But I'm like really excited to see her reaction. All right, ready? Let's see. First looks. First looks, Nicole. Come on, girl. You bought this for me. I bought it for you. Ah! <laughs> Who's that? Give it a hug. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Now give your car a hug. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh wait. I'm getting in it now. I'm getting in it. This is mine. This is mine. <laughs> I'm so yes. excited. Thank it's you. Guys, if you come to Metro Port in Miami, make sure you we'll say the yes. Jose Diaz. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Good to meet Thank you. you. you went yeah, off. let's take the top off. Yeah, let's take it off. Let's take the top <laughs> she off. wanna take her top off. <laughs> Why did I say that like that? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. At Metro Ford. Nicole, I'm just walking around your car filming myself now. She got a car. She I got, got a, a car. car. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Wow. Guys, I actually can't believe I have a car. Like, we're in my car. I have a car. I can do whatever I want. The mukbang is gonna go crazy. What's a mukbang? We're gonna be eating in this bitch, but like clean. Obviously, we're gonna keep it clean. <gasps> Look, he's setting up my apple. Who's Perfect. Roberto Yasca? I don't know, who is that? Mm. I've never had a brand new car. Really? I've always had used cars. This is my first brand new car. I'm so happy for you. I'm trying to like do two Search things at once. your vehicle on your device and select. Like, look at how gorgeous she is. I'm so happy. I love that you guys came along this journey with me. Thank you so much for supporting me and sending me all the best vibes and being happy for me. You guys are the best. Wait, I'm picking, I'm vlogging right now. Where are you? I'm vlogging right now. Come out. Probably I'll come out all the time. Yeah. Brandon's getting changed. I'm picking his poor ass up. Oh, there he is. This is the fit. There he is. Okay. This is the fit. Oh, there's Becca with the bangs. Hey. I look like a fucking douche. Yeah, you do look like a douche. I wore back hats. Okay, guys. So We're in Miss Branchiana. Okay, apparently, so I've been rocking with a half chub with my top off, but we can take it all the way down. Now you brand it to help me. There's like another latch that we do, and then we fold it down. Wait, Nicole. Yeah? You saying, okay, guys, Becca thought you were saying hurry up. She's like, I'm coming, I'm coming, but you're talking to your fucking <laughs> vlog. I'm vlogging. <laughs> the good thing about me is if you're late, I can entertain myself. I'll entertain everybody. <laughs> oh, I found the best hat ever, and I'm keeping it. Amazing. Oh, wait, she's not going to let me see the duck on. Look how cute it is. Oh, my God, it makes sense. Actually, you can have that one. I don't worry. No. Okay, BRB. No.
We're having some technical difficulties. Why is your stomach out? Because I'm hot. It's like, why do you have a belly shirt on? <laughs> this isn't even your car. Oh, that's funny. Oh, really? Oh, no, it is. This has to, this needs to come off. Oh, okay. Oh. Hold this. Just pop off, you want to pop it off? Did, wait, wait, can I see that again? I want to make sure. Yeah, because this needs to... Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't tell us about how to take that off. I guess it did. Just fucking didn't watch it. Well, they skipped to that part. Do you think we were supposed to do that before we started the yes. process? Okay. Open up, Brady. Don't do that. That was so dumb. I didn't know it moved like this. Oh, what do you want me to do? I can't believe you trusted that. I mean, I guess I... Do you want me to not stick it out the window? I can't even tell we're in a car! Yes, you can tell we're in a car! You can just stick it out the highway! <laughs> you lost way too many brain cells last night. Okay. Uh -huh. I know I'm thinking about you. Okay, guys, that's the end of this week's vlog. I decided on a name. We are going to call her, drum roll, Megan. She's Megan the Stallion, she's a stallion. So yeah, thank you guys for helping me pick out her name. I love you all so much. Make sure you follow me on YouTube, on Snapchat, on Instagram. Where else can you follow me? Oh, and make sure you come back every Tuesday for Girl Therapy. It's streaming on all platforms, also here on YouTube, and my vlogs every week, either Friday. <laughs> this one was supposed to be Friday, but sorry about that. But yeah, I love you all so much. I will talk to you soon. Mwah!